fuck yeah. March got kicked off with a flame in the snow via an unexpected place. Metalheads, welcome to Graphic Metal, where metal is celebrated with design in mind. This is the best black metal albums that I heard during the month of March 2024. First, we'll give, give some honorable mentions, and then the number one pick after that. Let's get to it. Beyond the Palest Star by Vorga, a black metal album released on March 29th. It's like ordering black coffee, but from Starbucks. It's, it will get the job done, for sure, but there's better coffees out there to taste. Album cover is actually... It's actually pretty solid. My only nitpick is, is that the album uh, name is incredibly difficult to, to read. It just was not well thought through. Uh, first time being introduced to the band who come via Karlsruhe, Germany, who had, with this being actually their sophomore released. And I think in general, you know, diehard black metal fans will dig it. But it's not particularly noteworthy. Graphic Metal Rating gives it a 74. The Way of Ancients by Volcandra, a black and death or melodic black metal album released on March 5th. Fuck yeah. March got kicked off with a flame in the snow via an unexpected place, Louisville, Kentucky. This is Volcandra's second full-length LP, and I definitely recommend it for fans of like early in flames, skeleton witch at the or you know at the gates, clearly influenced by that kind of early 90s Swiss melodic death metal scene. I wouldn't say this album has the best individual tracks, but it makes makes up for it for its well pro product. It's you know it's well produced, strong vocals and some timely riffs and solos. Also, want to point out the really strong transitions. Tracks one through three. Let's use those as an example. The so track one unexpectedly stops mid sentence. It pauses in silence for a few seconds. And then track two kicks in with an electric hang banging riff, which is actually, in my opinion, the best riff on the entire album. This track kind of similarly, similarly just stops. But in this case, it is a belting out loud scream that is released, held, and then just mixed to fade out. This then transitions into track three, which starts off with a just a gentle, peaceful, but eerie piano overlaid with background voices speaking to you. With a mysterious character kind of walking as you can hear the footsteps uh, in the background. And then a bell chime gets hit and the music just starts to kick in. This is, it's some really, really strong transitions. Side note, the first time listening to it, I thought my music player fucked up. This, I mean, this is how you know it's a great transition when it gets your attention so much that you actually think that there's something wrong <laughs> with it. Uh, and thinking about transitions, it leaves me wanting to do an episode, which I'll do pretty soon, which is ultimately to do a poll, you know, and to, to, to come up with some of the best you know, a uh, song transitions, right? Let me know what you come up with. 
as far as the design, it's close. Conceptually, it's perfectly fine. Uh, but it's, you know, standard. But they should have removed the middle statue because uh, there's too many of them. And that one just feels weird. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, and then I also think that the, you know, ultimately the band logo and the and the, the, the name just, it needed to be edited differently because it, it it's either you can't read it or it's it's, you know, the opposite, right? It's just one way or the other. And it also is using one of my one of my design pet peeves, which is, right, for this, ladies and gents, do not use a drop shadow on your typography. If you think that you do, you're wrong. It's just a sign that you need to rework the entire concept or the editing of it, the placement of it, something, because you should never need to use it. Nonetheless, it's a solid, enjoyable, energetic album that I think a lot of you will like. Graphic Bell rating gives it an 85. You ready for number one? All right. Number one melodic black metal album of March 2024 is... Nocturnal Will by Dudstrit, a melodic black death metal album released on March 22nd. Please, for everyone's sake, get a damn new vocalist. From Bordling, Sweden, it's album number four for them, though worth noting that their first album uh they were just a a one man band who we'll get to in a moment music atmosphere and songwriting are on full freaking display and it rivals the best in all the lands but for the love that is holy this is not singing or even yelling simply put the vocals they should not be on any album recording by anyone. I'm being harsh, but that's because I love the freaking music. Atmosphere is ama- amazing. I get it, Christopher. Christopher, you're the founder of the band. Damn fine at what you do from a composition musicianship standpoint. And given you know the 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 ratio of instrumentation on the you know the overall album, it's like. You wouldn't think that the vocals are even necessary. You could even opt to, to not have them at all. Uh, but I can assure you, just stop. Please delegate the vocal duties to someone else, I beg of you. Rant over. It's simple. I recommend this album to anyone so long as you can get past that. right? Because... Uh, Everything else about it is absolutely legendary. It's just sensational. It's it's emotional. It takes you on a journey. It feels fantastic. It's amazing. The album artwork and band logo, standard. Nothing special, but it's def- definitely not bad. Uh, but I'm not going to honestly bother you with anything more to say because just change the vocals. That's it. I know I'm a bastard, but just want want the best for for Austin. <laughs> uh, definitely check it out, though. Seriously, it's amazing. Graphic metal rating gives it an 89. And that was the list. Check back very soon for the other subgenres of both rock and metal. Until the next time, cheers and keep on rocking.